Welcome back to our continuing series of the topic unemployment under the unit current challenges facing the Indian economy. In today's session, we'll talk about employment in two types of sector, formal, also called organized sector, or and informal or unorganized sector. And we'll also look at the weaknesses of the informal sector establishment. Question that you can uh, expect from our discussion include um, how will you know whether a worker is working in the informal sector? We can also uh, differentiate between a formal and informal sector. And also you learn about the various problems, the weaknesses that are there in the inorganized sector. Okay, so let's try to go to that part. Workers in formal and informal sectors, known as, referred to as, organized and unorganized sector. So what's formal? All the public sector establishments. Public means government-owned establishments. And also private, but when they employ 10 or more hired workers, are called former sector establishments. So how do you know worker is working in a formal sector is when you find that there are 10 or more hired workers. Okay, so if you if you find workers working under the public sector or public, by private sector which hired more than 10 workers, those who work in such establishments are formal sector workers. All the other enterprises and workers working in those enterprises form the informal sector. So in any economy, India for example, you have people working in formal, which is organized, government um, and establishments or private establishments, and all the others who don't belong to these two, they are in the informal sector. Let's look at the informal sector. Farmers, laborers, any type, can be agricultural, can be industrial, owner of small enterprises, but they can't employ more than 10 hired workers. There, it can be self-employed, who also work by themselves. It includes non-farm, means those who do not work in agricultural activities. It can be also construction workers, headlock workers, majority of people are working in the informal sector that's the difference those are the examples of informal sector but if you compare between it, the two you'll find those who are working in the formal has more benefit they enjoy social security benefits benefits that will make them secure in the society example when you fall sick as a worker if you don't if you don't work in an informal sector, it means you have to absent from work, your, 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 your salary will be deducted. Daily wage laborers, we talk about uh, casual wage laborers. So they, if they fall sick, they have to absent, they'll not earn money. But in case of formal, government's own, or formal in private, they enjoy social security benefit. They not only uh, get what they they deserve from the salary, but at the same time they get help in terms of medical expenses, like medical reimbursement. You can get back what you spend on your medical expense. Uh, social security benefits, example like retirement benefit. When you retire from the work, you still get monthly retirement um, benefit. It can be gratuity at the time of your um, retirement. So these are the benefits that enjoy only by the workers working in the formal or organized sector. Those who do not work in the formal or those who are working in the unorganized, they suffer. So let's go back again to the formal workers. They earn more, earn more not it, than in the informal sector. Even though our country tries to um, uh, make more workers to become formal, so that more will get the benefit, the social security benefit. India wants more formal workers than non-formal, but 
it is fine uh, it is found that the outcome is the opposite the plan was such huh, to increase the number of formal webcasts so that informal would dwindle would decrease but let's look at the figure you'll find uh, otherwise out of 473 million workers we know that's the number of workers in the country 30 millions are informal only 30 24 male 6 million female 30 out of 473 the rest 310 millions of male and 130 of female total 443 are in the organized sector so india is a big big country 473 million but majority are in the formal informal and you know informal has lots of issues less salary no social security benefits and other thing else we'll look at that so first let's look at the, these numbers statistics so 30 are in the formal less are getting employed in the uh, formal sector and if you convert that 30 into percentage it's only six percent only six percent of workers are working in the formal sector 94 percent is 310 and 133 that 443 all these are in the informal sector okay so let's split into gender out of 30 26 are male six are female and this six become 21 percent only 21 percent out of the 30 are female the rest 79 are male so in the formal sector male dominated the um workspace not it out of 30 millions of formal very less women are still very very less not compared to a male that's in the formal sector same as the case in the informal sector even though we found 94 percent are in the informal sector majority are men okay so that's kind of knowing the situation in india uh what's like um formal versus informal so because of that since majority and in informal sector the government needs to do something because if uh leave as it is farmers uh workers um will be in trouble so india in uh, after 1970s started paying attention to enterprise working in the informal so although we want to increase formal but the opposite is the case informal is here to stay the government needs to do something okay because informal is not growing so workers in enterprise in the informal sector we know these are the problems do not get regular income they do not have any protection or regulation no rules no um, um, labor laws to protect them they are dismissed without any payment without compensation if they can be kicked out of the job technology use outdated do not do maintain accounts they live in slums they are squatters so all these are problems associated with informal sectors but in recent years because of the um, international labor organization the indian government has initiated the modernization of the informal sector enterprises and provision of social security nets to informal sector so somehow because of the uh, pressure of the laws of the international uh, body to look out look after the labor the workers india has started to uh, modernize somehow so that workers working on it also get the benefit like pension and other um like you uh, mentioned earlier like sick leave like medical benefits and all so that's the point that we want to stress today on the difference between working informal and working in informal so by now you know who's working informal and who's in informal and who, who, who what's more uh important from the point of view of india with respect to workers and also what's the problem associated with it so that's about um, today we'll continue um the last uh, topic next session